Hi guys, so I have been losing brain cells at an alarming rate, which explains this video because uh, I have spent all my money and there's no going back now. So here we are. The last time I did a clothing haul was three months ago. <laughs> I have a problem. So I think we are long overdue for this. Let's get started. The first store that I'm gonna show you is Dolls Kill. I bought everything online. So the first thing is this very, 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 pink tank top. It's in this very thick ribbed material and it's got kind of a raw hem and then the little cutout in the front. So it's very flattering on the body and I feel like this would look good on all skin tones. <laughs> this is what I meant when I said I'm losing brain cells. So I got this neon set and I can't tell you why. I thought it was really cool and different. Where am I gonna wear this? I don't know. Most of these pieces I bought because I'm trying to put together Coachella outfits and it's just a very ah, difficult process and I'm not doing well with it. So the top is just this cropped jacket. It doesn't have a hood, but it has the cinching that kind of like brings in your waist a little bit. And then the bottoms are these neon bottoms. I really don't have anything else to say about it. This next piece is also very random, but it's this lilac purpley crop top, I guess. The material of this is very weird if you can hear it then the top has lace and then it kind of scrunches in. It just has tiny straps and then the back is completely lace. This is probably the first normal piece I'm showing you guys, but it's just this cobalt blue straight neck tank crop top. I love the way straight necklines look. I think it's so flattering and you can just always add some jewelry and spice up the outfit. I love this blue color. It's one of my favorite colors. So this is just a simple tank top. And then the last clothing piece that I got from Dolls Kill was this black bodysuit. It's very high rise. I swear it goes up. Up. Like, oh, okay, that's dramatic. I'm dramatic. It goes up very high on your hips, but if you wear high waisted shorts, then you can't really tell. What I liked about this, though, is the hardware over here. I thought it was really different, and I think it adds a cool touch. So it's just a black rib bodysuit. I got two accessory pieces from Dolls Co., which I'm very excited about. This one I have absolutely no explanation for whatsoever, but it's this star candy looking choker, and it's called the Rainbow Romance Star Choker. I. Thought it was cool at the time. I still I still think it's cool as you can see everything that I pretty much bought from dolls kill was Definitely out of my comfort zone and then I got these glasses, which I'm obsessed with they're just like pink rectangle glasses they make you see everything in pink and I just feel fabulous. I also was casually browsing the Gucci website, which God knows why I was doing that. And I was looking at their sunglasses for some reason and I didn't buy anything, but Gucci's literally selling the exact same ones. I feel like it's about $300, but I got these at Dolls Kill for much cheaper and I'm very happy with them. Moving on to Brandy Melville, I didn't really get that much. To make a long story short, I got three of the same tops but in different colors. I'm so into colors recently and I think that just has to do with the fact that I'm very happy. I went through this phase where I would not wear any bright colors because it was just my vibe but we're past that. This is the style top that I got. I actually have it in white so I thought I would get more colors because I thought it was really cute. This is just a bright, orange color and I think it's so pretty. I think this would look good on every single skin tone just because it's such a pretty and unique color and I feel like a lot of people don't appreciate orange enough so I got this. The same one in that cobalt blue color that I said I love and I just think this is such a pretty color and I got the same shirt in this pink color. And then the last thing <laughs> that I got was just this cobalt blue tank top that looks like it could fit a baby. It stretches, so it's fine. That's all from Brandy Melville. I do have two companies that I want to give a little shout out to because they kindly sent me some hoodies. The first one, I found them on Instagram. They're called Fear of Exclusion. They have a really cool website and really dope clothes, and they sent over this white hoodie. It has this Monopoly man on the front with a bag of money, and I really liked it. And then the back has a New York Times kind of article thing going on, and I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to thank them for sending me this hoodie. I'm obsessed with hoodies, and I like it a lot. Plus, I haven't gotten it dirty yet, which is a record for me because because I'm prone to messes. It's just who I am at this point. And that's why I carry a Tide Stain Stick wherever I go. And the other company who sent me a hoodie was Indigo Clothing Company. I have other clothes from them, but they sent over this hoodie, which I just think this tie-dye blue indigo is so cool. And they have a really awesome company. Moving on to Urban Outfitters, the first thing that I got was this really cute pair of shorts. These ones are from the brand Champion, and I have them in black and gray. They're just so comfortable, and I thought the light pink with the daisies was so cute. My 
sister told me they were really ugly, which kind of killed my vibe, but you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Just please don't tell me that they're ugly in the comments because then I'll probably cry. These are very comfortable. I don't like wearing denim shorts all the time because they're just not fun. Cotton shorts, 10 out of 10. The other thing from Urban Outfitters, which is from their Out From Underline, is this black lettuce edge top. But the thing that I thought made it really cool and different was that it has a super square and straight neckline, which like I said, I think it's so flattering. The bulk of this haul comes from Princess Polly, and no, they're not sponsoring this video, even though I really wish they were because I bought all this with my own money. <laughs> But anyways, I love their company. I love buying their clothes. So everything that I'm going to show you is from Princess Polly. Hi guys. So I actually have a code that you can use for 20% off. So it's just Ava 20. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but there you go. First thing that I picked up are these khaki colored shorts. They kind of reminded me of the IMG ones, but the IMG ones are like $110 and I could, I can't bring myself to spend that much money on a pair of shorts. So these ones I thought were cooler in a way just because it has the pocket zipper detailing and it has that big pocket and then in the back it just has that one pocket right there. I also got this set which you guys might have seen in my last video, the spring break in Hawaii vlog. This is also from Princess Polly. Basically the top is just this very cropped v-neck little striped shirt and then the bottom Bottoms are just these little shorts and when I say little I mean they're very little. I got this gold bell and I've just been looking at this on their website for so long So I finally gave in and bought it. I feel like this wouldn't work as an actual bell It's more just to make your outfit look cool But it's just a gold chain belt and I thought it was really cool Plus I love wearing gold so the next thing from them is something that I would normally never purchase But I thought life's too short, okay it's just a semi see-through mesh newspaper article shirt and I think it would look really cool with a little black bralette under it or something. I have no idea how I would style this. Probably like that with some black jeans and some black boots, but I don't know, it's very different and I want to broaden my horizons and see what I like. So that's why I got that. Next from them is this super dainty and frilly girly little top. The color is so beautiful. It's kind of a corally shade. This would look great with tan skin. It kind of buttons up in the front and it has some frilly sleeves, which is really nice. Very sweet, you could wear this on a cute little date or something. I'm gonna show you guys these two things as a pair because I kind of bought them so I could wear them together. It's this white bralette top and this mesh green lettuce edge crop top and I thought this would look really cool under this with some black jeans. It probably won't, but I also need to stop doubting myself with everything that I do because it might look cool, it might not. If it doesn't, I'll end up returning these, but I thought they were cool pieces and that they would look good together. I have been eyeing this one piece from Princess Polly for the longest time, but I'm not gonna show you it because I'm actually gonna be doing a bikini haul very soon. If you guys are into that, comment down below the bikini emoji because I have a whole cardboard box of new bikinis that I got and I really wanna show you guys this bodysuit. I don't believe I've shown you guys before but I got this maybe two months ago it's this neon pink bodysuit and I just think this color looks so good on everyone and when I wear colors I automatically feel a little bit happier and just brighter obviously so it's just a plain bodysuit nothing to it really I just thought the color is really cool and then also going with the neon theme I got this it should be a bra, but they called it a crop top. It's this one strap neon green tank top. So I'm gonna go to the gym after filming this video so I can wear this and feel comfortable. Just because it's very, very cropped, it's literally kind of just a bra. And it's not that I'm not comfortable in my own body, of course, I love my body. There's really no room to hide. And the last clothing piece from Princess Polly I'm obsessed with. I have it in the denim style. It's just a little zip up mini skirt with a slit on the side and I have it in denim and it's just so pretty. I think the light pink is just so cute and it just zips up in the back. So if you're wondering, I get a size US 8 in this. So it's like a medium. I got a pair of sunglasses and they're just rectangle with gold. And this is just my style. I love how it has the gold detailing and I think it's very cool. So we got that. So that is gonna be it for this big clothing haul. I know it's a lot, but I always make sure that when I buy new clothes, I sell my other clothes on my Poshmark account. So I'll probably be doing that again soon. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the hauls because I love doing hauls. They're my one of my favorite videos to film. If you say so, this point in the video, first of all, you're amazing. And second of all, comment down below. Grapes, because they're good. Here's today's bread babe of the week. You guys are so special to me and I love you so much. So here's today's bread babe. Why is that kind of majestic that you can see like the mountains right there? I love the word majestic. 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 majestic.
fire. 